A Guilford County judge is suspended, accused of abusing her power. The state Supreme Court ordered District 18 Judge Angela Foster be suspended without pay for four months. WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk learned that she's faced similar allegations before. Yeah, Julie, these papers explain several situations where Judge Angela Foster allegedly abused her powers. The events go back as far as 2018. There are three situations where the commission filed a statement of charges for Foster. The most recent filing in December 2023. It's what led the Supreme Court of North Carolina to suspend Judge Angela Foster without pay for 120 days. According to court documents, the Judicial Standards Commission accused Foster of violating several code of conduct rules. The commission stated she, quote, engaged in conduct inappropriate to her office when she called the Wake County Magistrate's office on the 3rd of March, 2022. The document states Foster used her judicial title to try and pressure a Wake County Magistrate into changing the bond for her son. Her son was being held on charges of resisting a public officer and a misdemeanor for breaking and entering. Foster did not state that she was his mother. Before that situation was resolved, the commission counsel filed another statement of charges in February 2023. The charges allege Foster, quote, had demanded without notifying her chief district court judge that an assistant district attorney and a presiding magistrate close their administrative courtroom for her own use, despite an active administrative order mandating that it stay open. The conduct resulted in over 100 cases being continued to a later date. Foster was previously censored for abusing her power from a case back in 2018. Court documents allege she had held a hearing without notice, placed a mother in jail without cause, and then lectured the mother's 15-year-old children in an effort to convince them to exercise visitation with their father. The commission says all three situations broke the code of conduct for judges to ensure integrity, respect, patience and dignity, and that she allowed her family relationships to influence her judicial conduct.